Today I'm reviewing an, a pair of binoculars made by Swarovski called SLC 10 by 56 HD. You can see the name printed on top of the focusing button. And this is the, the new generation of SLC binoculars made by Swarovski. I think this is the third generation. It was introduced in 2013. And uh, this series of binoculars is consisted of two different line of products. There are SLC 42mm models. You can also find reviews about them on our channel. And then there are 56mm models like this one here. The interesting part is that uh, while the SLC with 42mm objective lens are uh, an entry level to roof prism Swarovski binoculars, these bigger models are more as a supplement to EL line because uh, EL doesn't have a binocular with 56mm objective lens. So these SLC binoculars are much more expensive than their 42mm counterparts and they're also built differently. The main feature of these binoculars is that the uh, Abe Koenig prism system is used in their construction and not Schmidt and Pechan like in all other Swarovski binoculars. This is a really interesting move since until now uh, Carl Zeiss company was mostly known for Abe Koenig prism binoculars. However, however, now also Swarovski Optic is producing them. The reason behind this is that uh, higher light transmission rate can be achieved with Abe Koenig prisms. And because these binoculars with a 56 millimeter objective lens are meant for low light use. This is a, a, a smart idea for Swarovski to use abiconic prisms. They achieved 93% of light transmission rate, which is really, really high value and the highest among all roof prism binoculars Swarovski is producing at the moment. Uh, there are three different models in this SLC. 56 line of binoculars. There, there is an 8 by 56. This is a common low light binoculars. Then there is a 10 by 56, like this model here. This model offers a, a really good uh, compromise between resolution and ability to see very distant details while still providing a really bright picture. And, there is, and then there is a, a real long range model with 15 magnification. Together with the binoculars, you get all the standard accessories, lens covers for the eyepieces, lens covers for the objective lenses, a carrying belt for the really, really high quality field bag. This field bag is uh, among the best you can find by all binoculars. Swarovski really did a good job with this field bag. Then a standard cleaning cloth and normally a manual. A manual carries all the basic information about the binoculars, how to use them, some safety uh, guidelines and so on. And it also carries warranty information. Warranty for these binoculars is 10 years. I forgot to mention also a really nice neoprene carrying belt for the carrying strap for the binoculars. It's also included. As you can see, these binoculars are quite big, which is normal for uh, binoculars with 56 millimeter objective lens. One additional reason is also that the Abe Koenig prism system is much longer than Schmidt & Pechan. This is the reason why these binoculars are almost 20 centimeters long and they weigh approximately 1200 grams. So they're really big. 
They do have special ergonomic features for better grip, for nicer handling and are really well made. You can see there is a central bridge and the uh, build quality is on a really exceptional high level. It's like expected from a premium class of Swarovski binoculars. Um, the image is really sharp and like I said really really bright. These binoculars offer 110 meters of field of view at one kilometer. It's a decent value. It could be a little bit better. I think the next, next generation will be even better. But still there is no complaint, no real complaint here. Uh, the binoculars are also waterproof, filled with dry nitrogen. So that means there is no internal fogging. And these binoculars also feature all the latest technologies uh, made by Swarovski, like uh, special coatings on the outer surfaces of lenses to protect lenses against scratches, dirt, and even to repel water, to repel water droplets. Also, the coating, coatings inside and all the lenses and prisms are also the latest Swarovski technology. So, they also feature a really nice logo on the axis of the central bridge. The eyepieces, you probably have seen these eyepieces before. They are almost the same like on the EL line of binoculars. They work really nice, offer great support and multiple positions for uh, if you use the binoculars with glasses or, or without them. So, like expected, on a really high quality level. Uh, focusing, focusing knob is, I think, almost the same, if not the same, like on EL. Also, the feeling is really nice. Uh, it also, as you can see here, when you pull the the um, knob up, up, you can set the correct diopter value. Already seen solution on EL binoculars. It works really nice, offers great grip, no complaints. Like I said before, this is also expected from a, such a premium high class binoculars. If I make a short summary, this is a, a really good pair of binoculars if you wish to use them in low light. It's great for hunting at dusk or dawn and at the same time you get really high quality accessories, nice build quality of the binoculars and abeconic prisms in Swarovski binoculars which is also something special. Together with these prisms you also get 93% of light transmission rate which is really high so perfect for low light. The only downside is that like all 56 millimeter binoculars this pair is also big and heavy but this is a sacrifice you have to make for a higher light transmission rate and a brighter image thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you need any additional information please send us an email visit our webpage or use comments on this youtube channel